Yeah, that's right. Hello, everybody. This is Shannon again with another edition of Tech Talk. And today, we are looking at a Verizon wireless phone, the Pantech Perception. I don't know if you can see it on there. Well, it's upside down, actually. Pantech Perception. And it comes in this black box. It's the box it comes in right here. Pretty nifty. Um, and uh, the reason I don't have the phone out to show you is because I'm recording this intro right now on the phone. So you can take a look at how the high definition is. I'm recording this in full HD right now. So you can kind of see what the, how it looks when I pan and the, dis and the detail on the trees. So there you go. So um, let's get into the details of the phone right now. All right, here we are, the Pantech Perception for Verizon Wireless. There it is, and here's the phone compared to my hand. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a rather large phone, I guess, if you want to call it that. But uh, it's got a huge screen on it. So, hey, what do you expect? But anyway, <laughs> here we go. All right, let's look at the, uh, the outside of the phone here, the external properties. Uh, on the left side of the phone over here, you have a rocker button for volume up and down. Nothing else on this side. Uh, on the bottom, you have a little hole for audio. That's it. On this side, you have a power button right here. And on the top, you have a little thing here to for a charging port that you have to open and put in there. Focus on that. There it is. USB charging with this little thing right here, the little cover, which I don't really, my preference, I don't like that because that could pop off at any time. Um, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the back, you, know, you have your camera, flash, uh, speaker, and Pantech and Verizon on there. So yeah, the overall feel of the phone feels good. It's a large phone, so if you have small hands, you know, it might be a little hard to kind of cover something to hold it. it, it fit in the pocket, but it's it'll take some room in the pocket. Um, but it feels good. It's got a smooth surface on the back. The edges are really nice, kind of beveled in a way. I like it. Um, so let's fire it up here. There we are. It's got, uh, here's the lock screen here. Let's so you could pick kind of what you want to do right at the bat here. Let's unlock it. All right, here we are, uh, running Android. Um, ice cream sandwich. So you go navigate through these screens this way. Left and right, left and right, and pick what you like to do. You have all the Verizon apps on here, this and that. So the specs on here, on this perception, uh, is that it has a 4.8 inch Super AMOLED screen. Very big, very sharp. It's got 720 by 1280 resolution. Uh, it has about 306 PPI pixel, di pixel density. So it's rather sharp. Um, 1.5 gigahertz dual core CPU inside there. Uh, one gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, uh, but you can't expand that. Uh, eight megapixel rear camera on the back, eight megapixels, so not too shabby with an LED flash. Has a two point, uh, sorry, two megapixel front facing camera right up there. Um, 1080p, high definition. Full video, full HD video recording. As I said, running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Uh, it is an LTE phone for Verizon, so it get LTE speeds. Has a 2020, 2020 milliamp hour battery inside, so not too bad. And uh, on the back here, you can expand it with a micro SD card right there. Your SIM card right in there, and there's a big battery. So yeah, expandable to 32 gigabytes on a micro SD card. So there you go. Um, yeah, let's look at the speed on this here. So we snap this thing back together here. All right, uh, let's see, we're speed test, there it is. Let's check the speed on this real quick. Uh, I agree, and let's begin. See what it gets real fast. Uh, I haven't done too much on the hotspot, but it does have a hotspot, Wi-Fi hotspot function, which works really well. You can do several devices off this phone if you so choose to uh, have that on your plan. Uh, this phone came available uh, not too long ago, April 2013. So it's a rather new phone. 
So it is pulling down its speed and uh, I didn't set the uh, megabytes on there. Let me see where it's doing. So it looks like the download is 4.5 megabits per second and the upload, let me focus here. Can you see, can I see that? There we go. And the upload is 1.2 megabits per second. So there you go. Not too bad, not too good either. <laughs> but it all depends on where you are, you know, right? And the cell towers and, uh, and, the, and the data congestion as well. But it's overall a pretty neat phone. I mean, the best thing of the phone is you can get a great deal on this phone. Uh, right now, it's being sold for $99.99 through Verizon with a contract. And for all the specs it has on this phone, that's not too shabby. Um, you know, it's a wide phone, um, which is good for folks who, you know, hey, can't see little bitty letters and everything. Uh, so that's very nice. You know, it does take a little heft in the hand to hold, but not too bad. Uh, one thing I didn't like too much about the phone is uh, its keyboard. Uh, the keyboard just, I kept hitting the back button on these, on this, uh, on the phone and, um, right here, the keyboard and, uh, back button right here where I was trying to hit different letters. So it kept kind of messing me up, but I guess I'm sure you get used to it after a while. But anyway, so there you are. I, I think, uh, I'm pretty impressed by the, the deal on this phone. It's very nice. Just brand new phone. Uh, it's running ice cream sandwich. Um, it's got great pictures and video qualities you can see in my intro and outro. Uh, so yeah, not a bad phone from Pantech here. Pantech Perception for Verizon Wireless. All right, that's a review of Pantech Perception. Appreciate you watching everybody. As always, you can catch me uh, up on Twitter. Please send me your co comments and suggestions as always. Uh, it's Shannon, LA13. And also I'm on, um, I'll have Tech Talk reviews on our station website at alabamas13.com. And also on YouTube, I have a station YouTube channel on, uh, just look out for, for Tech Talk in uh, Alabama's 13. So until next time, appreciate you watching everybody, and yeah, that's right.